Welcome to Hood War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing Bruce Millsap and the 190 East Coast Crips. The 190 East Coast Crips, also known as the Lamo Black Crips, are a black American gang located on the east side of Carson, California. They originated in the 1970s and they fall under the East Coast Crip umbrella. Their neighborhood stretches from Delamo to University between Wilmington and Avalon. They are allies of all East Coast Crips and neighborhood Crips. A few of their rivals include the Stevenson Village Crips, Centerview Pyro, Cabbage Patch Pyro, and All Compton Pyro's. Bruce Millsap was born on March 21st, 1966 in Los Angeles, California. He was primarily raised in the Carson area of Los Angeles County. He joined the 190 East Coast Crips at a young age and quickly rose up the ladder. By the early 90s, Bruce emerged as a ringleader of the 190 East Coast Crips. Within the gang, he formed a four-man group described by authorities as the Super Predators. The group included Bruce, Kendrick, Roshan, and Emmanuel. They were all from the 190 East Coast Crips. The group exchanged a life of drug dealing for one of robbery and murder. LA County Sheriff Williams said, the morality of this group is unbelievable. They're absolutely the most violent and ruthless people I have ever seen. They can murder on Tuesday, they murder on Friday, they murder the next week, and two weeks after that. Between 1995 and 1996, Bruce led these three on a spree of robbery murders, ranging from LA to San Bernardino County. On November 3rd, 1995 at 12.05 p.m., Lamont, who was a guard with Armored Transport of California, was picking up money from a Walmart on Highland Avenue in San Bernardino. As Lamont was walking back towards the armored car, he was shot multiple times. The armored car driver scared the robbers off by firing his own gun. He then dragged his partner inside. At least two robbers ran up on Lamont while a third person acted as a lookout. The robbers fled without the money, but 26-year-old Lamont Smith died. 12 days later, on November 15, 1995, members of the Denver Lanes were standing outside a driveway socializing. A car driven by Kendra that contained Bruce and other East Coast members drove by and opened fire on the group. Peanut Deuce from the Damu Riders was shot 17 times in the back and died shortly after. He was allegedly murdered the same day he took this photo. 15 days later on November 30th, 1995, armored truck guard Fernando Herrera was shot to death at the Queen City Bank on the 4700 block of Long Beach Boulevard. He was shot as he was attempting to bring back the cash. Bruce allegedly orchestrated the robbery murder. On January 31st, 1996, Bruce murdered Manuel, who was acting as a witness against him. Manuel was the only witness that could tie Bruce to a theft that occurred that previous June. That previous June, Bruce stole several trailer loads of electronic equipment worth over $50,000. Bruce and the group then participated in a completed robbery of an armored truck on February 9th, 1996. The driver, James Moon, was murdered and the money was taken from the truck. He was outside of Curtis Middle School in Carson when the robbery occurred. Authorities called Bruce and Kendrick the most vicious they have ever had to deal with, sneaking up on armored guards and executing them, then taking their money. The criminal group is believed to be responsible for more than 20 killings across Southern California. On February 23rd, 2000, Bruce Millsap and Kendrick Loop were sentenced to death for the string of robbery murders. The judge said Bruce and Kendrick deserve execution because of the cruelty and callousness they showed during their year-long rampage including shooting armored car drivers without giving them a chance to hand over the money. Bruce Millsap was sentenced to eight death sentences, plus 200 years for first degree murder of eight people. Kendra Lou got one death sentence, plus two life sentences for his role in three murders. During the trial, Kendrick assaulted a deputy and was caught with a homemade knife concealed in his rectum. When the jury announced his verdict, Kendra called him a bunch of stupid ass hoes. Before his guilty verdict was read, Bruce accused his attorney of having Alzheimer's Bruce said that he was incompetent and that he wasn't allowed to put up an adequate defense on his behalf. Homicide detectives said that their crime spree was so broad in scope, so repentant, so murderous, that investigators worked around the clock, seven days a week, months on end, to bring their reign of terror to an end. The third man of the group, Richard Colston, ended up ratting on Bruce and Kendrick. The fourth accomplice, Emmanuel Brown, hung himself in his jail cell when he learned he would have to stand trial. On August 25th, 2016, a Los Angeles teacher was caught smuggling cell phones and drugs to Bruce Millsap at the San Quentin prison. During the visit, a prison officer noticed plastic bags in a trash can of a visiting chamber occupied only by Terry and Bruce. 
The bags were inconsistent with any packaging from snacks available at the vending machines. The officers removed Bruce for a strip search. The search turned up with no contraband. Officers then asked Terry would she consent to a search. Terry admitted bringing food for Bruce in plastic bags. She also produced a large cloth beanie under her clothing that contained 18 cell phones, 18 chargers, two identified blue pills, and about three ounces of drugs. Bruce Millsap is currently on death row at San Quentin Prison. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.